know if you guys saw it, but I made a video about how I sold my baby. My Chilean Wayne Palm baby. Anyway, it's going away today. It's very sad. In fact, a whole bunch of my wine palms are going away today. Including the one on my little crane right here. And, uh, but the good news is all is not lost. Because we're getting an almost as cool tree put in. Check it out. My old demonstration garden on the other side of the block before I was fortunate enough to buy this former liquor store, former very notorious liquor store. Uh, I had a demonstration garden on the other side of the property. Many of you may have known that. And look, here's my, here's my keto coconut from the other side. And uh, here are all the coconuts right there. Those actually have coconut inside them. They're really good. Anyway, uh, Oliver here, had, how was it trimming this tree? Oh, it was easy. Yeah? Yeah. Look how pretty it is. I had to, I had to double check with you. It's, it's, it's almost perfect. You got to get all this little junk off. You know how I am. Per yeah. Perfect, perfect, perfect. The uh, razor blade. Yeah. Well, just, you know, like this, you see? Yeah. Get all that junk off there, make it real clean. Anyway, if you're not doing anything, you can do that. Or you got your razor blade right there. Yeah. Uh, anyway, we're going to get this tree out of here. Sadly, 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 but it's a new chapter. We're going to have a beautiful tropical um, keto coconut pear jubea. We're taking out a jubea and we're trading it in for a pear jubea, which is, uh, which means jubea like. It just doesn't have the fat trunk, but it's got a really beautiful frond. Look at the frond on this thing. It looks a lot like a coconut tree. That. Uh, we're going to get rid of this dead frond here, too. So here's the big mess we made. All right. Let's do it. I just got to say, look how perfect this tree fit in our nursery. Look at that. Woo. Oh well. I'd give a little space bit for the carriage bay to grow, I guess. Oh no, my baby. Here goes my, my, my baby, my baby. We got all those rocks out of the way. Yeah. Oh, my baby. Oh, my baby. Oh, my gosh. Even when you get paid for it, it's an empty feeling when you sell your baby. Oh, my gosh. I got to enjoy it for like 15 years. No, 10 years, 15, something like that. Anyway, there it goes. There goes my baby. Son, you want to guess the weight of the tree? Uh, 15,000 pounds. How much? 15,000. 15? Yeah. I'm going to guess 32.4. How much did she weigh? About 26. At 26, that's it? Oh, no. I thought it would weigh a lot way more now. That's a big tree. Zach is back! I didn't, I didn't scare you away the first no. time? No. You don't get scared by this kind of thing? No. Takes more than that? Yeah. You excited? So excited. It's gonna be fun, huh? Yeah. All right. Zach is a famous venter slash truck driver. It's a fun combination, right? All right. Anyway, that's Zach. Zach, that's Jeff. Zach, that's Oliver. Oliver, that's Zach. Jeff, that's Oliver. Oliver, that's Jeff. Okay. We're all, we're all, now. all right, let's do this. Right. Here's my new baby. All right, here's my perigebea. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it right in this notch. That way it'll look like the notch is supposed to be there for this tree. Even though it's a little fatter. It's a, f a little fatter of a notch than you need for this one. Jeff, Jeff's really timid about one, not wanting to knock down my sales hut. Uh, okay. Better turn the camera off. Get this right. So, Zach, you didn't actually play a large part in the last movie. No. Um, but I thought you probably had a lot of time to think about this. What we're doing today so have you thought a lot of really cool clever things to say when you're on camera yet 
You got your script down or? No, no, just Wait. been been pumped since uh, for the last two months for this. <laughs> we just been talking about it and talking about it yeah. and talking. About it. So you think, do you think it's one of those jobs where it's it took longer to talk about it than to actually do it? Or close? I don't know because the last one, the last one took a little longer to figure out how to get both trees on. The last one was gnarly. Yeah. So the last one we I I had Zach uh take uh what was it? Four trees on two trucks. Huge canary palms. They barely fit. I'll put the video link on the bottom. Zach had a very minimal but critical part in that movie. He served me cheeseburgers, which should have been in the movie, but it wasn't. It got cut. Uh anyway, so uh so you yeah I figure you know Zach's kind of a movie movie star looking yeah. kind of guy. And I don't have to pay him. It's like having George Clooney without having to pay him. So uh, I figure I'm going to highly feature Zach in this movie uh, because it, it will probably get more high ratings with the girls because I don't have a lot of girls watching. I don't know why. <laughs> but you're going you're gonna to be yeah. the, the bait to bring them in. They'll be interested in poems after this. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's do it. Don't you hate it when someone comes up and just like ruins your home? Yeah. You know? I mean, look. They're getting evicted. They're like, the sheriff's here and they're getting evicted. Ha! Huh. Ha! Huh. Freeloaders. Yeah, anyway, look at that root system. Beautiful cube. And uh, tree number two heading out the door. Tree number one is pretty much almost out the door. Right down there. <laughs> I've never cried so hard in my life. <laughs> my trees are gone. <laughs> the Boogie Billy is trying to cheer me up, but I'm still just totally depressed. <laughs> you see the tears? <laughs> Golden Gate Palms is, come on everybody, home of the Whopper palm trees. Those are Whoppers. Look at these Whoppers. I'll show you these Whoppers. That's a Whopper truck for sure. Let's see if we can frame it right in the rain. Whopper. You see that? It's hard to see. That's a Whopper. There's, there's one Whopper. There's a little Junior Whop Whopper Junior. They sell Whopper Junior, right? And then, if that's not enough, you get a two-for-one deal here. I think they have that at Whopper. Or Whopper King, Burger King. I'd never eat there. But, look, there's another Whopper. Look at that. Yeah. Home of the Whopper. Golden Gate Palms. Home of the Whopper. Any last words? Nope. Nope. That's it. Hope they make it there. <laughs> Get one last shot. Here they go. My babies. There are my babies. What a scene. Too bad it wasn't sunny out. It kind of matches the mood though. I think the weather definitely matches my mood. It's sad and depressing. I think it looks pretty South Seas to me. It's gonna look great. It's gonna look great again. Check this out, I have a little trick. See if my buddy Jeff likes white sapote. You know what white sapote is? That's white sapote. Pick that real good one for him. There you go. One for him, and one for me. Let's see.
Give me your reaction. It's something you never had before. Take a bite. Come on, what trust me. It? Watch. I'll, I'll, <laughs> he doesn't trust me. <laughs> I don't trust him. Come on, come on. No, you gotta try it. Come on, you gotta try it. I don't trust him. What? Come on. The world wants to know what you think of that fruit. They'll, they'll have to wait. Jeez, what's going on? All right, how much do I owe you? Too much. Let's figure it out. 